Okay, hi everyone. I have finally bought the W pad for 3999 rupees from wicketleak.org and uh, due to repeated, repeated requests from my friend, I have decided to make an unboxing video. Well, what I have done is already opened the box. So, and to save time. Well, I ordered it from wickedleak.org and they are very good when it comes to tablets and price. Anyways, so this is the cheapest tablet available and let's see how it pans out. Okay, well firstly, the box is very good. So the logo of a tablet. Uh, it has a few more logos which is Android, Wi-Fi, touch panel, 1 gigahertz CPU, G sensor, USB and TFT 32 GB. It also has a Google Android logo and it also has a Google logo. So it is authentic Google. Okay, I'm gonna remove the seal and open it up. Okay, so the box is pretty good. Oh, okay, so I have got a free pouch. We pouch with it, and this is what the pouch looks like. Yes, it's very good. It's black. The tablet will it will be very helpful to carry it around. Okay, packing seems good. Okay, so this is the tablet. Okay, we'll get that, get to it in a minute. Okay, so I've got to use a manual as well, which is the Android user manual. It's in English and it's okay. Right, what else? Okay, I received a charger which is the Indian it has the Indian plug point and it also has an adapter for European plugs which is pretty good if I'm traveling I have got a cable to connect the tablet to my computer from the OTG slot I also got a mini USB cable which can be used to connect uh, a 3G dongle or USB drive. Okay, so this is what we have received. And now let's. And I have also received a stylus. I don't think I'll be using a stylus. Okay, so far so good. Now let's see the tablet. Turn it on. Okay. Okay, while it's booting it has got okay it has got the Android logo now it has got speakers here body is pretty good fiber fiberglass it has got buttons for volume this is the on, on and off button this is for volume this is the menu button this is the home button okay this is the mic uh, microphone this uh, is the TFT micro SD card slot charging plug point and okay and this is the micro USB slot this is the HDMI slot 
and which is very good if you want to connect it to the TV and this is the point for the earphones it's all written over here if you can see that right okay right started it has booted up you can see the Android 2.3 screen the touch screen is pretty quick it's pretty quick yes the response seems nice well firstly I would want to see angry birds on this and also the voice That was good, that was quick. Okay, what I'm gonna do is play another game to see the sensitivity of the screen. As you can see the volume is very good. So, Fruit Ninja seems okay. What I'm gonna do to test the gravity sensor, I'm gonna play a racing game on this. Yes, the G sensor is working great. Yes, perfect. Okay. Back to menu. Okay, so the games are performing very well. I am going to see the video quality on this. As you can see the sound quality is very good. Just want to watch videos and play movies. Yes, it's Seems good. So videos seem good. Uh, what else? Let me see. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go into settings. Yes, so it has got Wi Fi and it's also got mobile network, so you can connect a 3G dongle to it. I understand. Uh, this is a slot from where you connect the 3G dongle using this micro mini USB port and this one yeah 
sound is good uh, it has got G sensor so yeah it's a pretty neat pretty good device I will be making few more videos when I get it connected to my Wi-Fi and 3G we are also gonna see the camera now right. yes the camera quality is very very good I think it's 3 megapixel yes camera seems nice very good camera I'm gonna try talking Tom Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yes, that's very good. Fantastic. Right. It has got the Android market as well as you can see. So that's good. Oh, that's what I was expecting. Let me see if there are any photos in this, so which can be seen. Yeah, yeah, that's the videos. So I'm sure the photo quality is very good. I'm also gonna go into settings. Settings. About device. Status. Android version, kernel version, battery. The battery seems very good. I mean, it's not draining out as I was expecting it to. It's holding on very well. I think it's around four to five hours battery. Well, so that's about it. The touch screen is very good. I'm very happy with the iPhone type body it has. And I think I'm gonna use it and it's very good value for money at 3999 If at all you need to purchase this, I would recommend you buy it from wickedleak.org. Yes, so thanking you for your time stay tuned I'll be making one more video when I do connect it to my Wi-Fi and 3G dongle okay so yeah thanks thanks a lot